Yuk Satini Yuhan uh Ik Desi Yudu Sak Yadis Gushuk Yagi Yawahi Yadis. Good to see you everybody. It's February 9th, and um here we go. So today we'll do discussion and continue our pronunciation practice. We started out practicing the X sounds on Tuesday and ran out of time. So we're going to continue that today, uh, focusing on the words in our dialogue that have um, varied X sounds in the words. So then we'll do a dialogue review and uh, we'll, and then we'll do our breakout rooms, give you a chance to practice your dialogue together. And we'll, after our breakout rooms, we'll continue looking at Lingit Reinachsa. And I can't remember if I assigned it to you yet, but uh, if we have time after breakout rooms, we'll, I'll demonstrate an assignment, an activity that I want you to work on outside of class. That is kind of like a fun way to start expressing yourself using the phrase book. And we'll have a discussion about the phrases in the book and talk about our homework. I also wanted to follow up on a question we had about the Thinget keyboard. And uh, actually, the student who requested this isn't here today and she let me know. Is there anyone else in this class that is on a Windows, like on a PC that needs resources on how to download the Thinget keyboard on their computer? If not, we'll go ahead and skip this until that student comes back. Okay, so starting off, um, are there any comments or questions on content that we've covered so far? Okay, let's move on. So <clears throat> on Tuesday, we started covering the different ways that you'll see the X, the letter X written and read and pronounced. In Tlingit, there are eight varieties, and they can be they can be a regular X. Um, an X can be pinched. It can be underlined, meaning in the back of your throat. It can be rounded, which is written X W, and and you pronounce it by rounding your lips. And then the rest, the rest five through eight, are all variations of. Uh, one, two, or all three of those components. Okay. So we covered the regular X. Um, and let's do them again today because more repetition is always good. So everybody go ahead and unmute your mics. And repeat after me this top line. Gude saya ni shik. Gude saya ni shik. Perfect. Yeah, that X, I highlighted it in blue. And it sounds good to what I'm hearing. It's just a little bit of friction in the top of your mouth. And then the next line is Fred Meyer's Dayan Hashik. Yeah. yeah, and we want to hear the difference in yan chashik. There's an underlined X, so that'll be gravelly in the back of your throat. And then it's followed by the blue highlighted regular X. So let's do just those last words together. Repeat after me. Yan chashik. Yan chashik. Okay, one more time. Yan Hashik. Yan Hashik. How do we sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Um, sometimes there's a tendency to 
skip over the underline X, but I could hear it. Okay. Awesome. Next one we covered is the pinched X, and you see this in the word skunk. So when you do an uh, just a pinched X, it's up here in the same place a regular X is in the in the top of your tongue, between the top of your tongue and the roof of your mouth. And now you're just pinching it. You're kind of squeezing the air out or snapping your teeth on it. So repeat after me. Skunk. 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 Mm -hmm. One more time. Skunk. 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 Yeah. And then the next line. Ungausaya. Ungausaya. Mm -hmm. Is it coming through in my mic? Can you hear that pinched X when I say Ungausaya? Ungausaya. Ungausaya. Yeah. Okay. Shaksani Kik, how do we sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Okay, okay. next one. Oh. Go ahead, Shaksani Kik. Yeah, um, so far, uh, all the X's uh, sound good, and but you need to make sure that you notice everything about each each letter, because each one is different from the other, depending on the markings. Mm -hmm. So our third type of X is an underlined X, and this one is a nice, loose, gravelly sound in the, that you make in the back of your throat. And so whereas a regular X is just a little bit of friction in the top of your mouth, the underlined X, you'll, you'll make these sounds using the back of your throat. So the first one, repeat after me, ha. 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 And you'll feel the moisture in your throat kind of moving around. You use it to pronounce the underlying X. So one more time. Ha. 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 And then the next line. Ha. 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 And then the last line, we've practiced it for the regular X. Now we're going to focus on the underlying X. Fred Myers, De Jan Chashik. Fred Myers, De Jan Chashik. All right, how did we sound that time, Shek Sanikik? Shik is in the roof of your mouth, not, not underlined. So, uh, Make sure that you're pinching the last X. Okay. If you underline it, it, it doesn't sound sound right. Yeah. Uh, and um, you kind of get by with it, but uh, I think the fluent speaker will pick it up real easy. Mm -hmm. Saying it right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that line one more time, everybody, focusing on the last two words. So, yan ha, the ha that's underlined is um, in the back of your throat. And then when you do that last X, it's not underlined. So let's do it. And they need to sound different from each other. So one more time. Yan ha shih. Yan ha shih. How's that? Yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, we'll keep focusing. It does take yeah. concentration, and you're getting it. Yeah, we're gonna teach. So the next one is a rounded X. You'll see it written X W, and the way you pronounce it is just rounding your lips, like you're pronouncing a W. Ooh. Um. One mistake that's really common with the rounded is people will try to add an ooh sound like you're saying the letter U, but all you're actually doing is breathing out the X with rounded lips. 
So let's let's practice this line. Repeat after me. Ka hui yis. Ka hui yis. Yeah, and if you do just the X W, it just sounds like this. Repeat after me. Yeah. Yep, you have that friction, but your lips are red. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, next. You have, to, uh, you have uh -huh. to keep in mind that the W, uh, what it plays in our language, is exact, exactly the same as English. Uh, if you look at how and you look in the mirror, when you say it, how how do you know the lips are rounded? How do you know? You know, so uh, you're not making any any sounds uh, after the W. Mm -hmm. That's the same purpose as English. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. That's especially helpful because you do see in Tlingit where an XW will be at the end or even just a W at the end of a word. And it's just the exact same thing. Round your lips. Okay, next I, one is... I think uh, one word I can think of that's on the end mm -hmm. a consonant is yao. Yao. Yeah, hairy. Yao. Yeah. Yao. Okay. So the next one is the underlined rounded X. And so it'll look like an underlined X followed by a W. And it's the same sound we just did, only now the X is in the back of your throat, but you're still rounding your lips. So repeat after me. Ah, tat gehat kuhwatin. Uh, 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 so cute. <laughs> that baby's gonna know thing it. <laughs> yeah. Well. Wow. Okay, so there are more underlying or there are more variations of the X sound, uh, just not ones that we've covered so far in the dialogue. But do folks have any questions about those so far? Okay, I'm gonna put some links in the chat so that if you do want more practice at home, you can. And one of them is just a link to the slides we have on these that I just went over with you. And so you can view these at home and practice them. And then the second link, uh, just beware if you open it up right now, it's gonna open YouTube. And so just make sure you have your mic muted so that we don't all hear hundreds of copies of this being played at the same time. But I'm going to put this link. It's a link to a YouTube video that Rene made of all the sounds in Thinget with example words. And I really like it for reviewing my pronunciation. And so that being said, we will now review the dialogue and then we'll cut you loose for breakout rooms. And so, should we demonstrate it for them? Yeah. Okay. Knock, knock. Nila Tora Aya. Nilko. How? Hatriatin. Ah, that Gerhard Kuchwatin. Is your guest the cool thing get? Ah, Skun Kadosh too. Was I yet? 
Pelhwasa o ekoa. Hatiak e. O sayati ish. Arthritis to jiwa. Ishan. Kungausa ya? Sitka san aya. Kutte sayan ishik. Fred Myers day an chashik. Kahwe yes. Ah. Okay, any questions about that before we cut you all loose? Uh, would, you be, uh -huh. would you be able to put the um, part one up so I could get a screenshot? Ah. Uh. Gonna choose. Uh. And then I'll um, put the link to these in the chat as well. So I'm gonna add a link to the dialogue in the chat and you all should have the ability to click that link and open it up so that you can look at it when you're practicing. So we'll do 20 minutes of breakout rooms, groups up to five people. We'll try to focus on the X sounds, make sure that when you're reading them, they sound um, distinct to the type of X they are. And if you finish the dialogue, if everyone in your group finishes the dialogue and you're all pretty comfortable with it, um, you can also practice Start start practicing or even just look over this phrase book as an additional resource because we'll do an activity with it when we all come back together. <clears throat> okay, so uh may we do groups up to five for 20 minutes. Okay, Johan, how was that for everybody? Good. Yeah, good. Okay. Uh -huh. Any questions or comments from your breakout rooms? Um, some of us had a problem bringing up the screen. Yeah. Uh, the dialogue. Okay. And what what did you see on your screen when it gave you a problem? Well, we went to chat and um, I think Raymond in uh, our group put his on the screen and that's how we were able to read it, uh, to see it. Oh, good. Would it let you open it when you clicked the link in the chat? I thought it did, but um, uh, I don't know if it was Raymond's or uh, what it was, but I went to chat and uh, when Raymond put it up, that's when we could all see it. Okay, good. And Kade Kaidukak, is that what you encountered as well? Um, we were in the same room. And uh, so what I did is I posted the pictures of the uh, screenshots I took. Because I have the same issue. It's hard to juggle back and forth between the link and I'm on the phone. Uh, and then going into uh, Zoom, trying to read the dialogue at the same time when I click on the link. Yeah. So I take a snapshot and I go to my photos. But the problem was when I put it on the chat room in the breakout room, I didn't realize I lost my video and I was trying to get my video back and I yeah. was jogging back and forth, part one, part two, part one. I didn't realize it was moving. And so we just end up uh, practicing using part one and I'll just flick it over on part two. So okay. we found, found it, but it was just kind of a, a hokey doka way around it. Yeah, good job you being resourceful. I, I experienced that too when I'm on Zoom on my phone. Um, switching screens and sharing screens. So, Gunnachish. I find it helps to write it down too, like in a notebook and then like highlight the parts. And then it helps with memorization too by writing it over and over. Like every time we add, I just keep writing it down. And adding to it again. So that might be a good idea too. Okay. Yeah, that's a good reminder. When I started learning, I was in person. So I used a notebook as well. And it helped me remember a lot too. 
ask it to Yiksha. Uh, I just wanted to say Gonashis to Shakani. Keep she she very um gracefully encouraged us to if we hear something from a member that doesn't sound correct to gently like ask them to repeat it because we're there to support each other and I think a lot of us are scared to like if we hear something incorrect to correct another person because you know everyone's on their own journey but it was just very nice and after you left Shirley we all started doing what you encouraged just kind of saying hey could you say that again and just trying to supporting each other to get it right if we'd hear and practicing hearing if it doesn't sound correct to us or not so um, just wanted to thank you for encouraging us to do that. Okay. Uh, Shaksani Kik, you're muted. Would Alan be able to unmute you so we can hear? And, uh, I just want to add too that it takes time to build that trust. So I'm glad that we're getting to that level where folks can trust each other to give feedback and work together and our combined goal to improve. So yeah, just awesome. Okay. Going to teach for sharing. Okay, while we wait for Shaksani Kik to come back, I'll show you an activity. Um, were there any other comments or questions from the breakout rooms? I just want to make sure that all the groups know that you're in a breakout room and you're together and listening, learning how to listen and hear correctly. And, uh, and uh, you know, somebody said you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, but you could say, uh, did I hear that right? Uh, shall we try it again, you know? And, uh, so uh, it's it's real easy to just have a discussion uh, in a small group and say, well, I'm having trouble with that one too. Shall we try it again? So that's a good way to encourage each other. Gonna cheesh. Any other comments or questions about the breakout rooms? Okay, awesome. Well, I love it. I love that we're getting to that level. I um, appreciate the work that you all are putting into. Ah, kachdu. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. Well, my um, you know, my my reluctance to say anything like that is because what I think I'm saying might not actually be what the actual pronunciation is. Since I'm just developing my ears, mm -hmm. so that that's my reluctance too. Mm -hmm. And but plus, the way I say it might not be what I'm hearing. Might not be aligning. I don't think it's aligning with what I'm. You know, that's I'm, exactly, I'm just trying to get it. That's exactly what you should say. Say, I'm I'm struggling with this one too. Uh, so let's uh, let's all try it together or something. So um, it's uh, I know right now it's a, a kind of a matter of trying to learn and memorize the the discussion, but uh, it is uh, important for us to start hearing and uh, start saying the the correct letters. And say, uh, I need help. Do I am I saying this one right? Let's try it again or something. So, 
Yeah, I'm comfortable asking for help, but I'm not comfortable giving help because I don't think my help, I might feel like the blind leading the blind. Well, that's not a really good term to use. Yeah. But. yeah. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with saying, uh, am I getting that right? I want to try it again, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't have to go straight through the whole thing without any comments, uh, because that's why we want you to have the discussion and you get used to each other. And it's cheese. Uh -huh. Okay. I feel that too, you know, as I step into my co-teaching role, um, that's what you'll see me asking Shak Saniki, how did we sound? And I'm including myself in that. I'm open to feedback. And uh, just, it takes a little bit of courage to kind of step out of this role of like, well, I have to be an expert if I'm, you know, calling the question or asking to repeat it. Um, but I give you permission to let go. You don't have to be an expert to have it all the way right to, like Shaksani Kik said, say, um, am I getting that right? Can we work on that together? But um, I love your question. It's a, I think a lot of us go through it together where we're still learning, but we want to help each other too. So this is a really good point. Oh, okay. Your work is awesome. Okay, so let's start this activity with Lingit Kainaksa. And <clears throat> if I haven't gone over this with you yet, <laughs> um, if you want to purchase a printed copy of Tlingit Kainaksa, you can do so through the through Amazon and also through the Sea Alaska Heritage Institute website. And I'll post those in the chat, but this is just if you want a copy and you have the funds. Um, if so that money and accessibility is not a barrier to you. I'm also going to show you how to find it for free online. So these are just where you can get printed copies. Um, I'm also going to add this link in the chat where you can get it free online. And so opening up this uh, copy, it's a PDF form. and you can download it, you can expand it to check out the table of contents. You can see in my web browser, if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, there's this menu option. It looks like three bars. If you open that and click the bottom icon, um, you can actually open up a table of contents. This is These are bookmarks so that you can quickly um, scroll to a certain topic. So looking at the table of contents. Our first chapter is greetings and departures and visiting. And you can see it starts on page nine. And if I look on my corresponding bookmark on the left-hand side of my screen, um, there's a clickable link. If I click that, it'll hop me straight through to page nine so I don't have to scroll through, which is just kind of a handy tool if uh, you wanna save yourself some scrolling. Now, are there any questions about opening up the PDF version online of this book? Okay. So if not, our next activity that we'll start working on over the week, over the following week, is using this resource to pull phrases and put them together into a short dialogue of our own. And so what we want to do is keep it, since this is a new activity for us as a group, we want to keep them short, maybe two to three lines maximum. And what I like about this is that you don't have to be um, super creative in making up your own sentences, because it takes a lot of knowledge of the language to be able to do that, especially when it comes to verbs. But the beauty of it is that they already have whole phrases that have been provided to us by elder speakers, and we can trust that they're grammatically correct, 
and they're appropriate for the context. Um, and so this is why I really like Singit Kainaksa as a beginning tool for starting to express myself in Singit. Aksani uh, Kik, did you have anything you wanted to add so far about that? Um, yeah, uh, the, we, like you said, we can really trust what's in there because uh, the people that were involved in putting that together, I really, I really trust them. And uh, we don't have to try to uh, diagnose each word. But if you have questions, you bring it back to us and uh, and we can talk about it in class. Because I know other people will be thinking the same thing. Yeah. So looking at these lines so far, um, do we have any ideas from our students um, for examples of phrases you might piece together, looking at the first page. <laughs> I think, how are you? I'm, I'm okay, or I'm fine. It, and uh, on I'm fine is that chet <laughs> yeke? Is that uh, how it's in? Uh, that's how, yeah, that's how they translated it in this book. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's make our dialogue on a slide together. So, let's see. If, if we're willing to do that, I'm not good, which I know that's negative, but the word looked very intriguing to me. It was like you sh not even quite sure how to pronounce it like it's so maybe two options how to answer i'm good i'm, I'm bad the not yeah. good can we yeah. try that one okay let's do it so the first one everyone repeat after me wasa iati wasa iati and then options you could if you want to say um Okay, you could repeat after me. Tlechwasa. And then if you had a variation where maybe not good, um, that one you would say repeat after me. Tlechushke. Tlechushke. how did we sound? Okay. Uh I think if it's not good, then you say Tesh So repeat after me. Um I'll write it and then we'll repeat it. So you're saying I'm not that good. I'm not doing feeling good. Okay. So the first one. So that an answer, if you're not doing that good, is Okay, let's repeat this line. Repeat after me. That EAT would be, how are you? Teshwasa would be okay. Um, okay. Another one that we had was Khatik. Oops. Another one that we had was Khatik A. So. Uh, sorry. Khatik A. Okay, so here we have a couple different options. Um, so we have a couple different options here. And in order to keep them uh, as separate dialogues, what I would do is just copy your first line 
and put it in a separate dialogue. And then we can um, have different variations. So the first one was Tlechwasa for okay. The second one might be Tlechatushke for I'm not doing that good. And then that's it. I mean, for a starting point, that's perfect. We have two dialogues that um, each have two lines. So be um, just have fun with it over the weekend or before our next class on Tuesday. Just go ahead and check them out. Uh, shoot for three lines if you want to. And that's it for time. So Shokasani, did you have anything else to add before we close? Yeah. Uh, are you assigning like the, the phrases of the, the first of the book? I'm sorry, can you say that again? Phrases, the, the list that they have of phrases. Yeah. Yeah, let's do for our assignment. Um, the short phrases that are there. In terms of memorizing them? No, in terms of writing them. Yeah, we could. Should we do the first three phrases in the book? Well, I think if we go over, we have time to go over them, to have them take a look at, um, on how to use it. I think they already have uh, a lot of knowledge in regards to the, because of the discussion as we go through it. But there will be, <clears throat> Some phrases that are that they have <clears throat> they have heard before, but I don't know how to use it. <clears throat> okay. okay. Let's do a discussion on Tuesday about the phrases and how to how they're used. Um, so that if folks have questions about them, we can cover that for sure. So for now, we can just keep it open um, just as a practice activity. And then for Tuesday, we'll have a discussion about the phrases that you all pick for your short dialogues. Yeah, I think the phrases are what, two or three pages long. They, can yeah. go, they could go through the whole thing. And then when we come to the one they're curious about, uh, they can ask that question. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yeah, the first phrase, the first chapter of greetings is about three pages long. So folks can look through those. And so that's Slingit Kainaksa, pages nine through eleven. If you have questions about them, bring them on Tuesday. Until then, we'll see you on Friday if you can make it. Um, <laughs> We're excited. On, We're gonna uh, on Tuesday. We hope to have a a story about uh, Elizabeth Pradovich because it's we're not gonna have class on the day that day. That is her day. Is yeah. that right? Not yeah. No, you're right. On Tuesday, <laughs> um, we'll we have, we have time. We'll go over the phrases, but. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think the the video that we want to show is that long. It's, uh, we haven't found out yet exactly how long it is. The one we want to use. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. okay, folks, thanks for coming. If you can make it tomorrow, we'll do recordings of Inland Slinget introduced by Hune. We're excited to have these in our Friday discussions. And uh, good night, Chi Shati Adi, Tsi Kwasatin Yuhan.